So, proof of concept uh, of this gas vapor theory um, video. We saw that I ran or drove my car around with that device. And uh, while I couldn't get the air-fuel ratios correct for optimal fuel mileage, I still saw an improvement in fuel mileage over what the car normally got. So I got to thinking, what if I could run my generator with this? Um, I use a generator when I go camping and stuff, and it'd be nice to be able to have the thing run a lot longer than it does on a tank. So what I'm doing here is uh, I've measured out a predetermined amount of gasoline by you see the red line I drew on there with the marker and I'm going to do this two ways um, it's not really fair to do a consumption test per se where I use this amount of gas uh, like this you know into this container and then I'm going to have this hooked up to the fuel on the side of the carburetor because I'm going to have to tilt that obviously so all the gas gets used and then wait to time how long it takes that to run out. But with the vapor system, once you get down to a certain level of fuel, um, it doesn't generate that much vapor anymore. But we're still going to do apples to apples. I'm still going to test it and see what the time is. Obviously for a vapor system to work right, I have to start with a larger amount of fuel than I do with that type of system and then would be able to time it. But I don't feel like standing here and watching this thing run for hours just to judge this. I'm trying to pick out an amount of fuel that generates enough vapor but yet at the same time allows me to uh, measure how long it ran for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour all this gas into here. I'm going to let the thing run for five minutes and then I'll pour the amount of gas left back in and I'll measure where the line's at. Then I'll do the same thing again with the vapor system, run it for five minutes, pour the, and uh, shut it off and measure where the line's at. And we'll get an accurate measurement then to see which one consumed more fuel. So what I've done on the front of the generator is I've, uh, I don't wanna break it, I've fastened this nipple just to the air filter there, or air, air cleaner, it lets me plug this hose on it. So for the first test, we'll leave that off and I will run this amount of fuel that I poured into there, I'll pour it all in there. I'll hook that up to the carburetor, I'll fire it up and I'll start the stopwatch and I'll run it for five minutes. I'll then report back how much fuel it's used. Hey everybody, I uh, just finished running the generator off of the regular fuel normal way. Um, I was gonna pour back how much was left over after five minutes until I realized that uh, the bowl on the carburetor down there actually holds just about how much I put in there. So uh, after running for about a minute, uh, the jar was that jar was empty and it was all in the line and down into the bowl. So I just held the line up and left it run down in and then sat back and timed it. And the generator died at exactly five minutes and 29 seconds. I took a screenshot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the same amount of gasoline back in there and through the vapor system. Uh, I wish I had time to adjust the air fuel ratio and play around with the size of that hole a little bit, but I clearly don't. I'd like to try to make it as optimal as possible, like the jetting from the factory already is for the gas. But we'll just run it with the guesstimated holes I made in the lid there, and we'll see what she does. I'll pick up the video uh, after those results. We're getting ready to do this again. I put, once again, the same amount of gasoline in to the red line. And uh, you see the gas line's unhooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hose on and uh, screw this lid on. And then I will uh, fire up the generator and start the stopwatch. I'm using a stopwatch on my phone so I can't video and record at the same time. Um, so I'll pick up the video with the stopwatch results after that. I figured out I can close the stopwatch app and have it still running at the same time while uh, I use the camera. So I just want to show you guys how this thing's running. percolating away in there and making vapor so I'm going to switch over now to the stopwatch here again and uh, I'll see what the time results are at the end that's the 5 minute 32 second mark still got quite a bit of fuel in there yet starting to get down to where there's not much to make much vapor so it's getting a little running funny but uh, we've already passed the time and there's a lot of fuel left I'm going to stop and measure the fuel here at 6 minutes and we'll see what's left 
everybody uh, at six minutes I shut it off uh, like I said with the vapor system you require like what I would guess you'd call a reservoir amount of fuel and it takes a certain amount of fuel to be able to vapor off once it gets so low there's just not as much vapor so the way that the test went was I poured a predetermined amount of fuel into that fed it through the carburetor through the normal way and it ran for five minutes and 30 seconds I got a screenshot of that time with this system with the vapor system I left it run for six minutes and around six minutes it started to um, you know cut in and out like it was not running enough vapor and as you see let's see here what we got left we have just about that's that's just a little under the half mark all right so what's that tell you that tells you that we ran the same amount of time on half the amount of fuel okay and that wasn't even an optimal setup that was just a, a randomly guessed hole in the lid hose stuck down in and we ran off the vapor so um, you know that that's just a little under half left in there so Let's say, for example, you had a car that or a generator that ran four hours on a tank of gas. If you could set up a vapor system for it, you could, in theory, probably run what seven, almost double. But anyway, just another proof of concept video showing this vapor system here. Kind of interesting and fun at the same time. And I wanted to show this to all you guys.